But as bad as the political scandals might be, it's the ambulance crisis and a broken health system that's dominating headlines in Victoria. Former nurse Georgie Crozier is the Liberal Shadow Health Minister. So people are sick, they're needing an ambulance, so they ring triple zero. They can't get through to triple zero. Uh, when they get an ambulance, the ambulance can't get the patient unloaded into the emergency department because they haven't got a bed in the hospital. So you've got problems right through the system. And that's the critical point here because far too many people have died. My dad, Alfred, died on our front lawn after our desperate calls to triple zero went unanswered. The fact that we couldn't get any help was unbelievable. Alfred Edwards was one of 33 people to have died as a result of Victoria's triple zero crisis. Men, women, children, even babies. An ambulance was called and that ambulance never came or if it did, it was too late. A recent report by Emergency Management Victoria proves just how much the system is failing Victorians. Ambulance response times for code one emergencies, so the most critical of all, are now worse after eight years of this Labor government than they were before Daniel Andrews was elected. Heaven help you, quite literally, if you or someone you love needs to call triple zero. He's not only been health minister, but he's been the premier, so he's been in charge. It just beggars belief what is happening at a ministerial level, at a department level and in the Premier's own office, why these warnings were ignored. Having been elected on a promise to fix the ambulance crisis, this isn't the only broken health promise from Daniel Andrews. Early in the pandemic, 4,000 extra ICU beds were announced. And now are we going to fund another 4,000 intensive care beds, taking us to a total of 4,500. 18 months later... The notion that we're going to have 4,000 beds down at, you know, a warehouse somewhere, turn the exhibition buildings into an ICU unit and then have a nurse at the foot of each of those beds practising hospital corners, like, no, that's not how it works. Those 4,000 beds didn't eventuate. So to say flippantly, 4,000 intensive care beds, and then I might add, he denied that he ever said it, but it's there on tape. Oh, it's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking, and the ambulance crisis in particular. You know, they've been working for 10 years to fix something, to fix the phone system in 10 years. I mean, you can build a rocket to the moon in 10 years, but we can't fix the triple O system. And the, the opposition takes some blame for that for two years. The rest of it's been Andrews. But that's just disgraceful. State elections turn on issues like schools and hospitals. So how is it in a state where the health system is catastrophic that Labor is still in the race? Because in Daniel Andrews, Victoria, things are not as they seem. It's a secret state. Mates are in powerful positions and the Premier allows no dissent inside his government or outside it. 